You guys know what today's video is about? What? I got my good friend, uh, Imperial German, uh, Dragon Mode here. Uh, and so today, oh. <laughs> shoulder fell off and so today uh, we're gonna be doing a deck profile based on uh, my guy uh, Imperial Tron. Let's get right into it guys What's up guys Noah here from the Digi Bros and like an intro said uh, today's video is going to be uh, about one of my favorite decks from the current format is going to be Blue green DNA digivolving Imperial Dramon, Pal Dramon, you know, the blue green uh, DNA deck. Uh, Jagras, as of what's called in Japan. Uh, but that being said, let's hop right on into today's video, guys. Uh, so, uh, what, what a fitting what a fitting deck box, you know. You got the, the official uh, Pal Dramon one. Um, I'm going to have to go and uh, get me <laughs> the uh, new deck box that uh, has the. Uh, fighter mode, not the fighter mode, but the uh, dragon mode, the new one on the left side of the structure deck you get from the uh, current tournaments. Um, but yeah, and I just want to show you guys off that really cool uh, deck box I got right there. Um, so yeah, so this is going to be uh, our deck. I've been doing a ton of testing with it. Um, I really enjoy the list. It could use a little more tweaking. There's a couple cards I'm not like fully, um, I guess, like optimized on but I'm still like working on it uh, so yeah we're just gonna go and hop right on into the video uh, starting off with the level 7s I am uh, only playing one at the moment and that is going to be the Imperial Jamon Paladin mode Let's see I don't know if we got that mean glare on them right there um, so yeah so we got the one Imperial Jamon Paladin mode uh, cards super good um, he's able to like Clean up stuff, being able to return uh, your opponent's like uh, big threatening cards to the bottom of the deck, and you can do that when uh, did evolve when attacking. Uh, remove the sources of um, one of your opponent's Digimon, and then you return all your opponent's Digimon uh, when their sources to the bomb. So it's kind of like uh, Ned Hogmon uh, as a level seven. Um, it's really cool. Um, he's also the first Digimon that's got 16,000 DP, and I just think that's uh, super, super. Um, so moving on uh, to our level sixes, I am playing uh, two copies of both the fighter mode and two copies of the dragon mode. It's pretty pretty standard. Uh, you see this ratio in like every list, or like a three one, or like a combination of like you're playing four. Um, they're both uh, exceptionally good. Uh, dragon mode, you can do a ton of really cool combos with him, uh, being able to play stuff from his sources. And then fighter mode just puts on a ton of pressure, being able to attack, suspend when you're punching Digimon, uh, restand so you can like swing twice, you can suspend when you're punching Digimon. Uh, you're really good. They're both really good cards. Um, so yeah, but like always like. The boss monster of this deck. I mean, all of these have been boss monsters, but like the main deck has always been focused around the uh, four copies of the Pile Dramon. Uh, he's just super duper good. Uh, when you DNA Digivolve him, you can put one of your opponent's Digimon with 6,000 DP less to the bottom of the deck. Uh, so that's really good in the uh, purple yellow DNA Digivolving. If they do have like their Magna Angemon or if they hard casted their. Got some mind you can just go on and uh, evolve into this, put those to the bottom, so it really like puts them behind because they're either losing out on their Gatsumon or when they're level fives. And just being able, he also has when attacking, he cannot suspend himself. So if he does have the jamming uh, inheritable from the XP mon, then he's able to swing twice with jamming. Uh, Kurt's super stellar. The DNA Digivolve mechanic is an exceptional mechanic, I absolutely love it. And uh, blue green, and just they got a ton of really, really good stuff. Honorary red deck, you know, you guys know how I feel red best deck, but um, so moving on to my other uh, level fives. I do got two copies of the Dino Beamon, um, um, only one copy of Chimera Mon. I'm gonna talk about him right now. Um, I only have the one Chimera Mon, I do have some others coming in the mail. Um, I have seen a bunch of lists that are uh, playing the one one or the two Chimera Mon. Um, until I get some more in, I've really been liking uh, this ratio right here. The 2 1. Chimera Mon, you can do a ton of really cool plays with him. Um, when I get to like stuff later in the deck, I'll come back and talk about that Chimera Mon and the uh, Dragon Mode. 
because you can do some really cool stuff with the two of these. I'll talk more about that later. But the Dino Beemon, he does have the really cool inheritable where he gets plus a thousand for each of the colors. And so just being able to boost up uh, your Digimon by additional 2k. Um, Shivamon is actually pretty big. I know it's not that seen in the meta. Um, but it's one of the decks I play against the most locally. And uh, Chibamon is pretty big, and so just being able to uh, attack over it. Same with the Mastermon, because the Mastermon is also bigger than the uh, uh, Dragon Mode. Um, so just being able to gain the additional ones, and being able to tap one down and uh, keep it uh, suspended. Uh, it's really, really cool, cool effect with him. But yeah, and then Kamehameha, you get, like I said, we've got some really cool combos with him later. So that's going to be our level 5 count, uh, just a 7. Now moving on to our level 4s. Uh, these are all going to be fairly standard, you know. You got your four copies of the XP one. Uh, he's got jamming and inheritable jamming. Um, super good. Yeah. <laughs> I can't say more about it. He's, he's the best level four uh, in the deck. You need to get to the XP one uh, as fast as you can because he just gives jamming to all your other stuff. And then Stingmon. Stingmon is also uh, incredibly good. Uh, he does have the inheritable one tech if you have blue Digimon to play draw a card. And then you he has a reduced play cost of one while you have a blue Digimon on the field so you really uh, want to like set up like cool plays you can do with him uh, this deck just has a ton of cool plays I love the way uh, Digimon is currently progressing a uh, ton of absolutely stellar stuff so uh, two copies of Lydramon uh, Lydramon's cool because he's dual color green blue so if you are missing either the Stingmon or the XVmon he can count as the color that you are missing and he also does have that armor purge and he can evolve on top of Vmon's for uh, only two costs, so yeah, Elijah Mon's really, really cool. Uh, moving on, I am playing for my last level fours. I am playing uh, one copy of each uh, Logomon and the uh, Magnumon. Logomon, you can just uh, still games. Uh, Magnumon, uh, he is a blocker. Uh, he does have the armor purge, and he's also a blue, which is all cool things. And he's one of the cards I mentioned earlier that you can do some like really cool plays with, uh, both the Chimera Mon and the Imperial Dragon Dragon Mode. Um, if you already use Magnumon, like they swung you blocked, then later you evolve into the Chimera Mon. You can take the Magnumon and put it in its evolution sources. Then whenever you evolve into the uh, Dragon Mode, you can pull it back out of its sources, so that way you can gain additional blocker. And I'm just gonna skip right on ahead. Uh, uh, but one of my level threes I am playing, I am playing the Madoki Betamon, and that's something else you can do uh, with the Pure Jumon, you know, because, you know, just either gaining a blocker or like a floodgate uh, with the Madoki Betamon, uh, just being able to bring them out of the sources right here, or if you use them earlier, come here, Mon, just being able to go and grab one back. Uh, so, yeah, it's been doing really well in testing. I actually saw uh, Primitive, uh, he was talking about that, and I was like, oh, that's really cool, and so that's why. I wanted to give it a try. It has been working out really well. So, shout out to Primitive uh, for you know showcasing off such a such a cool combo. So for rookies, I did have those two Madoki Beta Mons, like I said. But uh, other than that, I do have the four copy of the uh, on play searching V Mon. This one searches for a Digimon with free in this type. You crack the top three, add one amongst them in. Uh, he's the best V Mon we have, uh, so that's why we're maxing out on him. And all my other V Mons, I am playing two copies of them. Uh, we do have two copies of the on play search for a dual color blue card v -mon. This v -mon is also really good, but he can hit um, tamers and option cards that are dual color as well. And so that's why he's really cool being in one like the Mega Death or the uh, uh, Ken and uh, Davis. Uh, he just has more uh, things that, I wouldn't say more things he can search than any other v -mon, but he has more options of things that he can search. And so, uh, for the other Vmons, I am playing two of the Stardeck Vmon, two of the EX1 Vmon, and two of the BT2 Vmon. Uh, I keep juggling back and forth between the ratios and all these all the time. I don't like the jamming Vmon. Um, he just, he doesn't do anything for me. Um, and so I really want like the inheritables of this one. This one's really good early game But once you get to a later point you just have a massive hand So he's basically vanilla So that's why I was like testing out more of these because one of them gives you additional draw when it's unspinning one gives you memory um, Like they're all good in their own right, but it's just hard to Find out which one's best because like I said I do really like this Vmon for like earlier game It's just like past that and this one's really good whenever it becomes unsuspended, so you can really only do that with the 
um, Paladromon, and sometimes you have to go Chimeramon or Dynabeamon route, so it's like, same with this one. So I'm still trying to like figure out the exact Vmon ratio I like. Uh, these are the ones I've been liking thus far. The 4, 2, 2, 2, 2. <laughs> so that's going to wrap up our Digimon count. Uh, for Tamers, I am playing two copies of Davis, uh, one copy of Mimi, and one copy of Davis and Ken. Uh, out of all these, the Mimi's the most consistent card in this whole deck. I swear every time I play, I open up a Mimi. Um, just Mimi being able to suspend her to either, you know, promote another one to help do additional damage or just help set up for the falling turn. Really strong. Uh, Davis and Ken being able to gain additional memory whenever you uh, start your main phase if you do have any of your dual color blue green Digimon on the field. And Davis Forges uh, consistency is such a, such a stellar card. And there are some cool plays that you can do with Davis and Ken uh, with a combination of like. Uh, hidden potential discovered, being able to uh, suspend it, evolve, tap this to unsuspend the Digimon, and get a bunch of cool stuff like that. So yeah, so that's gonna be our Davis count, Davis count, our Tamer count. We are just playing the four. Um, so yeah, moving right along to option cards, we do got four copies of Hammer Spark. Um, and while this card's a four, I feel like we have to play four copies of it in every single blue deck. Uh, free gain of memory. Uh, check security <laughs> gain two memory cards. It's absolutely disgusting um, Two copies of Megadeth. Megadeth is really good. I would like to try to squeeze in a third one somewhere um, Still working on ratios, but Megadeth is a stellar card. It's a cheaper Kakaia's Breath Like literally it's just a cheaper <laughs> Kakaia's Breath and Kakaia's Breath was uh, Traditionally good, but it was a little more expensive, but five cost Kakaia's Breath being able to pull in your opponent's uh, Digimon back in hand I am not upset about it. and for the last two option cards I am playing uh, one copy of the ice wall and one copy of the hidden potential discovered um, These are the only two limited options in the game I think it's really cool that we can play both of them with inside the snake uh, Hidden potential you can do some absolutely disgusting plays and the ice wall some extra defense uh, in case you know you are <laughs> Uh, not in the best scenario, you need to save an additional turn. And for the eggs, we are playing four copies of the Demi Vmon and one copy of the Upamon. Uh, just gaining additional draw power, attacking uh, when your opponent is Digimon without source of draw card, and then attacking with Jammy gets a draw card. Um, I just really like this one because you know the xv one is like the most important card in the deck and just being able to gain additional draws off that i think is super duper duper